Drop sets are a great way to take a set way past muscle failure. If you do them properly, they literally turn one set into two or three. This doubles or triples the amount of work you do and the intensity of your workout, which are both important for pushing muscle growth forward. The key to doing drop sets properly is knowing how much weight to drop. That's why colleagues and I at the Weider Research Group performed a study on drop sets and trained body groups. We found that when they dropped the weight by 20 to 30 percent, they were able to complete a similar amount of reps as the normal set. That's precisely what you want to do to really instigate muscle growth. To do drop sets, take a set to muscle failure. Then immediately reduce the weight by 20 to 30 percent and continue until you reach muscle failure again. Obviously, you'll have to round up or down. For example, if you start with 30 pounds, 20 to 30 percent of that is somewhere between 6 to 9 pounds, which means you'll drop 5 or 10 pounds. If you're up for it, Take that drop set to failure and do another drop by immediately reducing the weight again by 20 to 30 percent and continue until you hit muscle failure again. Dumbbells make a great way to do drop sets because you simply put down that set you're using and pick up the next set and continue. A real hardcore way to use drop sets with dumbbells is called running the rack where you continue dropping down the dumbbell rack until you can no longer perform a single rep or you run out of dumbbells. So try drop sets in your next workout. Do one or two drop sets on the last one or two sets of each exercise and make sure you drop the weight by 20 to 30 percent each time you perform a drop set.